hello everyone so today i'm going to give you a brief overview of uh, of the online overleaf latex editor so to begin with a uh, screen you have uh, three different section the left hand section is where all your latex text file uh, are uh, the name of the files you're going to see out here so basically dot tex is the extension for latex files then in between is is a window where you're going to write all your content out here and the right hand side is where you're going to view how your document is 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 going to view uh, of whatever you're writing so to begin with uh, on the left top top hand left and uh, side you can see an icon for new file so wherein you can create a new text file so well what in what situations you might need to do that so for example say if you're writing your uh, thesis or say if you're writing a book you can have situations where you you might have like multiple chapters and you don't want to squeeze in all the chapters in one text file so you can have a main text file and you can have multiple other text file which you can call in in your main text file so that is where you this can be very handy the next option out here is a new folder so you can club in a uh, multiple text file and store it in a particular folder uh, for uh, purposes where you might uh, want to distinguish different text file apart from this if you want to upload any of the pictures or uh, any uh, the pictures which you require in your document you can use the upload feature out here here you can rename your all uh, your different text file or any file which you upload you can rename it you can delete a particular file out here apart from that you have your recompile features so basically for example if I create a section that is say introduction and so I click on recompile so it's compiling and I'm sorry so here it should be this so and I click on compile and yes you see uh, I, I see what I'm writing out here so this is why you use compile here you have multiple features auto compile say if you keep it on whatever you write it will compile on its own so yeah so it's, it's just compiling on its own whatever you write that's auto compile feature apart from that if you want to download your PDF you just click on this thing and you will just view your PDF so if you see whatever PDF you can download it directly so generally uh, LaTeX outputs your file as .pdf now for example now say if it's getting too crunchy you can just view your uh, file file for example you click on full screen you'll just view this window of how the document views if you want to zoom in you can click this zoom out do your fit to height fit to width whatever you want to do now say if you want to go back to the default way if you want to see you just click on split screen you will again get all the three screens if you want to close one of them you can close if you want to get it back you can do that so that's how it works vice versa and here say if you want to reduce zoom out yeah you can do that apart from that you have an history option wherein for example if you have made certain changes and you want to retrieve back to those uh, to that time period of time where you the the way your document was you can retrieve that by clicking on one of these times and go back apart from that it is a good platform for collaboration so for example if you want to chat with your collaborators this is very nice so it is a very handy tool uh, for researchers or say a, a project wherein you have multiple members working on a particular document apart from that uh, you can share this project with your fellow colleagues uh, and uh, work on the project together apart from that whatever review changes are happening that also can be uh, viewed in the document so to so this was uh, an introduction of the GUI of how 
uh, Overleaf online editor is. So in the next tutorial we are going to begin with uh, creating uh, your first uh, LaTeX document.